Hello everyone. Okay, I am going to read on Stephen Mnuchin, uh, our Treasury Secretary. Uh, and so I'm going to do a, a modified uh, Celtic Cross. So I'm just tuning in as to which cards. Oh, he is a challenging energy to sit in. I was meditating. And uh, it's like the energy goes everywhere. Like his, his poor soul is not completely in his body. Oh, goodness. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Stephen Mnuchin. That was, was that eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's drawn over here for some reason. Seven, okay, eight. Nine. And my, my intention was to understand his uh, past, past, present, future uh, professionally. I didn't really care to go any deeper than that, just professionally. Ooh, okay, so the forces in motion are defeat. This is defeat. And his challenge is... Are, here, let's just let's just do this for you guys. Yeah, that's it. that's uh, the forces in motion for his soul, for his life experience, and it's defeat because you know he's he's gone into uh, you know winning at all costs, doesn't care about other people, and he might have all the swords, but he doesn't have any friends, and I doubt you know deep down there's much self-respect. It's very sad. And then what is crossing him, his challenges, uh, the cross currents, is justice. So someday we'll, we will have justice. Right now he's done everything, or you know, in the past what I do know is that he has uh, done just about everything he could to keep President Trump's um, tax records, uh, you know, hidden. Uh, what he does have control over, yeah, a part of our government. That's absolutely true. Pretty straightforward right there. Okay, and uh, so that's the, that's, that's the Hierophant. All right. Uh, the first card was the Five of Swords, and then what's crossing is Justice. Uh, so what he's done in the past, this is really interesting. So... It looks like he's done everything he can to create happiness for himself and uh, his uh, his wife. Um, yeah, he's just. I mean, I don't really know much more to say about that because I can't read it in this in the sense of like he's done anything to reveal uh, what needs to happen uh, for justice to come through. But this looks to me like it's more about shining his own light. You know, being. Uh, being seen, so yeah, and and you know, on one level, he what he's done has brought a lot of attention to uh, people that need to see what's what's been going on, what's hanging over him, and what he has no control over. <laughs> the tower, so things falling apart. You know, top-down authority gets taken out at some point. I mean, we are, we are living in unprecedented times to have Saturn and Pluto conjunct. And, and of course, that, that has to do with the pandemic as well, all over the planet. So, uh, yeah, and it, how is he, is he helping with that? Doesn't look like it. And, and he has no control over this either, you know, either. Um, no control over either circumstances when it comes to the pandemic or uh, the financial situation that, I mean, and, and you know, financially, that's who he's been uh, in his background. Anybody can do research and see, you know, the darkness that he has been in for years and years and years and all the people that lost their homes just because of him and his 
uh, lack of integrity. Okay, so his near future, yeah, okay, he'll be making some more money. He's uh, shoring up his, you know, legacy, his financial legacy. But, all right, okay. Let, let's not really care about that. Um, but that that's the truth. I mean, the cards are just, I always draw, you always use the intention just to see the truth. Okay, and uh, what he's attracting, Queen of Pentacles, more money, uh, nurturing his fortune. Yeah. Nurturing his fortune, uh, maybe he's tra attracting uh, more abundance from his wife or some other woman in his life. Yeah. Uh, sometimes this card does have to do with wisdom as to how to mantle, or, what am I saying? <laughs> how to uh, manage his financial? I, I tried to put I tried to put financial manage and financial all in one word. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, he's trying to manage his finances. I think in a way that's uh, very lasting. Um, so so he's you know he's attracting more of that. I mean the dude does know how to do that. We have to give him that credit. Okay, and uh, how others are influencing the situation. They're pulling the wool over their eyes. They don't want to see. Don't you know? Don't don't want to do anything about it. Don't want to make any decisions. Uh, you know. So so the you know he he does have control, and um, other people aren't doing anything about it. <sighs> Currently, you know, maybe they see him as just kind of a low low totem. You know, kind of a figure, and it's not a big deal. I mean, he's definitely he's definitely dark, and he has been dark for years and years. But um, you know, he's not up there with like Bill Barr or um, or um, you know Mitch McConnell. Okay, so his distant future, well, community partying, yeah. I uh, okay. It's not very. I don't care. <laughs> I care about that, and the outcome. Okay, so the outcome for his future looks like he still has he still has some hope. I mean, we have the star card. He still he still has hope. Uh, he still can set a new course at some point if if he wants to. But with this hanging over him, you know, with the tower card hanging over him, I I you know, I just, I, I hope he comes clean someday. I hope he cares about coming clean. Uh, so in the two cards that were on the bottom of the deck that I, you know, always grab just for, I try to remember to grab for clarity in case we need more information. I have the Nine of Pentacles. I think about like this. I don't know if it really matters. The Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So we're talking luxury, focusing on luxury, and, you know, his financial empire that he wants to maintain. So, you know, I can't, I honestly, you guys, I cannot say that his outcome looks like that he will be, um, you know, destitute or anything like that or experience what he's put out there. But, you know, everything catches up with you at some point in some lifetime. So... And this was not a health reading. He's not very old. Uh, he's not, you know, overweight like Bill Barr. He, you know, he does have some health issues because if anybody watched, um, all you'd have to do would be to go to the C-SPAN website and watch his um, his uh, confirmation. Well, I don't know if it was really the confirmation hearing, but it was the hearing before the confirmation that um, that you know, before he came into uh, as Treasury sec Secretary. And he had some type of a really odd, um, I don't know if he has Tourette syndrome that doesn't really affect his speech, but it affects his body. But he, he had a terrible, terrible, uh, the worst type of like convulsive tick that I have ever seen with any human being. And 
I don't know if his meds weren't working or if he uh, got new meds, but I've never seen anything like it since. But that's something you can go look at if you want. Just, you know, C-SPAN website, Stephen Mnuchin's, uh, you know, hearing for Treasury sec Secretary. And, you know, Katie Porter has nailed him really well in the past as far as asking him financial questions. Katie Porter and... Um, um, oh goodness, I can't remember her name. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's she's uh, the beautiful black woman who um, is in charge of the financial one of the financial committees. Ah, uh, I can't. I'm just I've lost it. Okay, but for with this little spread here, I'm going to tune into his his health. Let's ask about his health. And I'll just draw as many cards as I can fit into frame here. So Stephen Mnuchin's health. Okay, and so these are the Lenormand cards. So Stephen Mnuchin health. I think I'll probably be able to do about ten. Okay. So this might be a little bit of a different reading on let's see. Or different to you guys. Uh, it, the, it's a system that uh, I'm not sure if it began. I think it began in France, and way, way, way back, like 17th century. So the the cards are or the the images are pretty very pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, but this deck has some extra cards in it. Uh, it normally is only 36, and we can see that number 37 came up here. So. So with the letter card, uh, we have, uh, so I have to put it on the context of his health. So this, this relates to, even though there's like the message in the bottle kind of thing, traditionally it has to do with any type of documents written, uh, you know, just anything written on paper. And I'm, I'm going to read this as a prescription. So I believe he takes the prescription for his heart. So he does have heart issues. And they're very, very important. The key is always about, you know, something that's truly important. So, and it's a yes card. So he takes prescriptions for his heart. And there are two, there are at least, at least two issues with the foundation of his body that he has trouble with. And because uh, the key is above the book, the book relates to the brain. And I, even though, well, one book here is open and the other one is, is held secret. So, in, 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 uh, in relationship to Pandora's box here, he has a very important brain problem that is um, repetitive. There's a looping that happens with his brain. And I believe he's, I mean, we can see these dark images here. I, I mean, I, I really think that the guy is, I don't know if you believe in like spirit possession, but uh, I definitely believe in negative specialists that, that get in and take us, you know, take over us if we don't, uh, you know, work in the light. If we're not working in in what's loving and what is good for everyone on the planet, you know, not just ourselves and our own. I mean, he's a very, very selfish man. I mean, that's obvious. So he's aligned with some some dark entities here. And so they're hooked into his brain, and that's probably what I was seeing when I was uh, witnessing, you know, his, his uh, hearing with, the, uh, with Congress. Uh, and, okay, so prescriptions for his heart, 
and maybe even for his brain, at least two prescriptions, maybe one for his heart and one for his brain. Uh, his body is not grounded. He's just kind of out there, always thinking about what he wants. That's what I'm getting there with the stars card. He's always just really focused on his goals. And his, his financial foundation is what's primary to him. That's obvious for anybody to see. We don't need cards for that, do we? Um, but remember, health is, is the context here that we're looking for. And so I, I would say that um, I can't say that there's like a dehydration issue with the fish here, though, uh, because with, with that I, I would need to get the sun card, the sun with the fish. Um, but I would say he drinks. I would say the dude drinks. So uh, repetitively, re drinks daily. It's a daily thing. And um, in the prescriptions. So, wow, that's a nice little combo, huh? That could be very dangerous someday. So, you know, he's not, he's not, um, this is his current health. I'm, I'm not looking into the future, but we can see the truth here is that he's, uh, he's, he has a, an addiction. Now this can, you know, in, in other, in other contexts, this would be our money card, our abundance card. But in because I'm asking for a health uh, reading, he's he, he has problems with the. This could be the like the fluids in his brain. Loop around, you know, because they're not in alignment with uh, with light. But it's something very very important, like the key is a brain issue, and and of course you know a heart issue, and then uh, you know it's obvious that there are prescriptions for this here. So, yeah, so that's it. I, it's really icky sitting in his energy, so I'm just I'm going to end it here. Okay, you guys, thank you so much, and take good, good care. Okay, be back later.